Okay, so we're gonna continue painting now. So I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna gently swish it in the bottom of my paint cup. Okay. okay, if I apply a little bit of pressure on the bottom of the cup, then it helps me loosen the paint. I'm going to put it in my paper towel and I'm gonna pinch it and pull it. Okay, that puts the bristles back into shape. You don't ever wanna dry it by pressing it and rubbing it and making the bristles splay out. Okay, so now we're gonna continue layering on our color. So our first round of colors there was a bit muted, so meaning that it was lighter. It lacked intensity. So as we come forward in our picture, we're going to continue to layer in some darker um, colors. So that was our back row. Now we're going to add in some of these bright pops of orange that we see. So I'm gonna take this here. I'm actually just gonna tap that kind of in. Maybe a little bit of yellow with that. Okay, to get just a couple of pops of this bright, brighter color. Okay, and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at these little pieces right here in the picture. Okay, so I'm just kind of getting a couple of pops that will peek out from behind some of those trees later. And then maybe a little bit over here. So I'm gonna go back in with this and add a little bit. Okay, so the more variation in color we get, kind of the more it looks like there's more trees and shrubbery happening. So I have those bright pops, I'm gonna rinse my brush off. And then I'm ready to go in with some of my darker greens. So as we're moving forward in our picture, we see there's our lighter. Now we're gonna go in with some of these darker greens. So there's turquoisey color, I'm gonna scoop a little bit of that. I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of my brown with it. When we mix brown or black into a color, we call that a neutral, okay? So we can use that to kind of darken and lighten. So I'm gonna to start to add in, tapping out this tree here. And it's not a perfect triangle, but the top is more narrow. And it kind of comes out into these little sections here. Fill that in. Okay, and then I wanna add some darker areas into there. So I can either take my super dark brown, mix that into my turquoise here, and then I'm gonna do the undersides of those branches by mixing in some of that dark brown. Okay, and I'm kind of brushing it off because I don't wanna glob it on, because I just want a little bit of paint on my brush at any time so that I can get that shadowy, the under bits here. And it's gonna overlap on top of that orange so that orange pops out behind it. Okay. And then I see over here, I have a little bit more right at the end of the road of a dark green. So again, I can create mixtures of my color. So I'm gonna take this like dark foresty green. I'm gonna mix a little more of that turquoise in there. Okay, to start. And if I have too much paint on my brush to make a kind of a scratchy looking tree, I'm gonna just pull that paint off, okay? Paper towel is a necessary, a necessary tool. Okay, so I'm gonna tap in right at the top of that road. I'm gonna create that shape that's coming over. Okay, so you notice that we've been layering in this background, this middle ground, all these trees. Okay, and we're still not quite finished. Okay, so if we want it to look full and dense like a forest, we really need to get a lot of layers in there. So I tap that in, I'm gonna take that super dark brown and right here in the middle, create a little shadow. Okay, and if it's blending together too much, and we don't want it to, then we might need to let it dry for a minute. Okay, so when we want things to blend, they both need to be uh, wet. But when we don't want them to blend, then we need to let it dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna tap in, tap in a little bit here, 
get some shadows and such over here. And the impression is painted outside quickly, quick brush strokes to capture the way that light, weather, and the time of day affected the colors. Okay, so I want you to kind of feel, feel it and not think about it so, so much. Okay, kind of go with it and let it build and then we'll see where we end up and see how that happens, how, how you like that. Okay, building that in. A little more darkness here, get some more darkness on my ground. Okay. Now I'm gonna stop there for that for that layer. I'm gonna let that dry.